Hello folks, welcome to Gator's Garage. <laughs> it's the uh, second part of the clutch, uh, the mule. Oh, I don't have the book, it's under there, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> the mule uh, fix. Uh, got all the parts that I ordered. Took me, takes a lot of patience, I'll tell you that. <laughs> And I'd ordered this from a dealer close by here. See, this is the new uh, new weights with the new pin. <laughs> it's tight, and uh, there's a little. Uh, there was none left on the other one. Hang on. <laughs> See this here? It's a little fiber washer. Well. Story time with Gator. <laughs> yeah, I tell you a story about these washers. This was ordered. These washers were ordered on the second on second order. Because initially, the first order I did, I just ordered the weights, and I ordered two. They call those uh, sleeves. It's uh, brass sleeves. It just fits around different things. And I hadn't taken nothing apart here. <laughs> Uh, I was on my way from the camp. I had the clutch with me, but I hadn't taken it apart, but I knew for sure it needed weights and pins. I hadn't even looked at the diagram of the clutch. Toward that. Second time I'm going up to the cottage or the camp. I said, and I needed the fiber washers, okay? These little uh, nylon washers. First of all, first things first, these are $3.99 a piece plus <laughs> the tax. Okay? Now, uh, we're talking maybe 300, maybe 600% profit on these <laughs> washers. I'm sure of that. <laughs> Can't be that the nylon washers were that much. <laughs> Anyways, hey, so I, I, there's a guy. Eh? Nothing against long hair, he's got this ponytail in the back. He's got a Harley Davidson written right across his neck here and tough guy. <laughs> Anyways, so I ordered the six six of these washers, eh? Well, and another sleeve. Well, he ordered the sleeve. And on the order, like we're, he's on the other side of the counter and I'm talking, and I, he's looking at the diagram. I'm not looking at, I know what I want. Six washers, three pins, a washer on each side of the weight. So it's six washers. Well, I, when I come back home from the camp and I'm looking at my, uh, my slip, it says one washer. So I phoned the guy right away. I said, uh, before they ship my order, make sure you, you, you reorder because you muffed it up. I need six washers, not one. Well, I go to pick up the sleeve. <laughs> and guess what? I only got one washer. He forgot. <laughs> he forgot to order it. So I told him, I says, I got a picture of your face. <laughs> so I didn't deal with him. I was done. I dealt with the little girl. She went up and down in the aisles inside there and uh, looking for these washers, these nylon washers, because I had one. She had something close, but I said, no, nah, no, nah, just ordered them. How long is it going to take? So I'm going to the camp. So she says, well, two days. Well... Okay, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> so when I get back, he's at the other counter, and I'm I went right to the little girl. I don't want to know nothing about this guy. I said, you know, prediction. <laughs> Within a year, that guy's not there at that desk anymore. <laughs> and then I says, I'll tell you something. Our prime minister Justin Trudeau made it legal to smoke pot. But, 
guys like him shouldn't be allowed to smoke pot. He's not, he's got nothing to spare. <laughs> Your uh, short term memory, <laughs> it fails you when you're smoking too much, eh? Well, this guy got nothing to lose on his short term memory. But anyways, so I got my parts. <laughs> so now we're fixing this. We got, I found the, well I had the, where is it? <laughs> Yeah, I had some blue Loctite, but I didn't, I didn't use that, but I didn't, <laughs> there, blue, this is Loctite, it's not made by, what's the other outfit, it's not in there, what, what did I do with that, that is, that is a matter, uh, that's what I'm going to use, so here we go, <laughs> I got the pins, I got the washers, I got the slides. I sure hope this. Ooh, <laughs> sticky business, boy. Ah. <clears throat> I don't know if this is. Uh... Oh, yes, yes, yes. It is ready. <laughs> hey, here we go. So I'm going to put some blue Loctite, which is not the permanent one. It's just a. Uh... Uh, I can release it type. I think, not sure on this, I'm gonna say something, but uh, some of you guys probably know better. There's red, I have some of that, and I have a, I have some, it's a uh, green. Now, I don't know if green, green is permanent, or green is a, uh, so okay, now we got the weights, we got the new pins and we got the new washers on each side to hold the, the, the weights from going uh, loose. Hey, ah, oh, another thing I didn't didn't tell you. <laughs> Don't see. I did a little bit of a prelim, pr pr preliminary here. As I'm using graphite, it's a graphite oil to lubricate this, the moving parts in this clutch, because um, I don't want no oil slung around or grease slung around this clutch because uh, it's going to be bad news. <laughs> First thing you know, the, the belt's going to be slipping, eh? <laughs> so, I, uh, uh, it's a guy, Cecil from, um, I forget his name there. He's up around New Lisgur. Yeah, his. He's a. Uh, <laughs> he's an all around handy guy. I know that because he knows many. He knows a lot of stuff. Built this house. He's moving it now. He built a basement <laughs> and he's moving it now. Okay, hang on there. I'm going to tighten this up. Well, this is fine. Woo. Well, <laughs> hang on now, folks. You're gonna have to. Maybe I'll turn you off. You gotta find another battery because this one's dead. Oh, there's a charger right there. <coughs> I thought that I had some some juice left in that uh, in that battery. This is my big battery, and I got some smaller ones in that. That battery cost me 120 bucks. <laughs> it's incredible, eh? It's just like the <laughs> it's just like them little washers there. Uh, I'm going out of out of the screen there. It's just because. Uh, all right. Hopefully, this will be charged. I didn't charge it, but I don't think I used it. It's not quite the same size as the other one. Well, I still got some. Hey, there. You don't want to over tighten it because uh, <laughs> it would be a bad thing to strip. Because <laughs> uh, at uh, four bucks a nylon washer, I wouldn't want to have to buy that thing. It cost me a, a what you call an arm and a leg. There, that. 
goes in like this, this, like, <laughs> oh, 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 not wrong spot, <laughs> yes, mm, yeah, right like that. Okay, let's take this out. Can we? Oh yes. Oh yes we can. Okay. Now, what did I want? Oh, I want to loosen this up. Oh, I was cut out with spark the last time. I said that. Uh, I don't want to put no... No Loctite where... I decided I was going to put some. Because... Uh, if I don't put none, this thing starts falling. this thing starts falling apart while I'm driving. First of all, pretty big job to take it out, and second of all, <laughs> I'm smarter than that. <laughs> so we gonna put some Loctite on, Loctite on the bolts. It's uh, good practice. I got it anyways, and uh, it's not that I'm saving anything here, eh? Hey? <laughs> we're not in the saving business, we're in the, we're in the rebuilding, <laughs> but it's not a business. I was talking to my son-in-law there, uh, just yesterday. <laughs> Me and him are going in the clutch rebuilding business. Anyways, I don't want to divulge all the secrets here. First thing you know. Because I figure just the markup that they put them on all these parts. You could make a mint rebuilding these clutches, eh? Like, it'd be nothing to resurface the two surfaces. Uh, of the clutch and then you rebuild them at the 600% uh, profit. Hey, here we go, hang on. See how easy it is? <laughs> hey! Now this goes like that. Okay, now we're gonna put some of this Kickaboo Joy Juice. You gotta put a little bit. Graphite. Really what it is, you know what it is? It's lock fluid. <laughs> Spray in the lock, see? But it's 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 graphite base, so boom, that's it. I uh, there's a bushing in here. I don't feel <laughs> like I'm gonna. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put a little bit on my finger here, and I'll just swirl it. Up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm just gonna swirl it around. I don't know how long this is gonna be. This. <laughs> If we're trying to rebuild this on on the fly here. Okay, so we got this. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go look at the picture. See, another thing too. The, one of the most important things that they say. See, I mean a mark here. There's a mark inside here. And there's a mark, hang on, hang on, <laughs> right here, there's an arrow right here, so this here has to align, whoops, with that, boom, just like that, that's where the company aligns it, so I made two marks, so I know those are aligned, when I put it back together, I'm all set. That, 
gonna. <laughs> I thought I was smart, eh? But uh, I don't think I'm that smart. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go look at the pictures. <laughs> Hang on. Maybe I'll be able to figure it out. Uh, this goes like that. Yes. This goes like this. spot where see that's the sweet spot right there but hang on I gotta put these slides in <laughs> that's another thing that's another thing mm. see everything has a place in here eh and and you gotta get it just just right there. See that one's in. <laughs> Come on, there. Uh, that that doesn't go there right now. I gotta put my slides in. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way, boy. There. Another one. Yeah, so the... <laughs> needless to say, I, I told the guy, I said, look, I said, by the way you order stuff, <laughs> we're going back to the, de the dealer there. I said, by the way you order stuff, and uh, I said, with the markup you put on the part, I said, it's not cheaper than going online, and by the time I get it here, I may as well have ordered it online, I probably would have had it a week before. <laughs> Anyways, needless to say, I wasn't a happy camper, eh? Now, I have a new spring. Is this the new? Yeah, this is the new spring. See that, folks? And... And, oh, I wanted to put some, uh, some joy juice in here because mm, it's just good practice to put a little bit. Uh, looks like I'm, I'm out of it. <laughs> well, that's it for that one. But... Do not despair, I have more. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, see this is a ooh, I got some on my hand. Ooh, I got some on my jeans too. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. See? So, hey, now you're seeing it live, folks. <laughs> I don't know if you'll have the patience. But that's it, eh? Like, uh, this is Gator's way of doing things. And, uh, see this? These are the little bags, eh? This is the one that I got the one washer in. And this is the one that I got the five washers in, eh? They, they put them in little bags and they got little stickers on them, eh? And the, <laughs> that's probably why they cost so much. <laughs> Anyways, I'm babbling there and I know. So that goes right there. That slide should be down. That slide there too. Where's my arrow? Woo! I have to have the, the little bolts ready. At least two. Okay, the arrow's there. This here, if you're 
it's 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 almost it's almost there. I'm gonna just bolt it temporarily, <laughs> and then I'll put some Loctite on the others. to tighten them evenly. Yes. Because if you don't tighten them evenly, you're gonna muff it up. <laughs> like you don't pull from one side and you'll damage the like there's a whole bunch there's three different bushings in here. And you'll damage the bushing if you don't. You'll damage the bushing and then you'll, you'll be sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll put some on this one. Uh, unscrew the other bolt. I'll put some on that one. This one here. Now I know uh, a few guys, well one guy, and I, I acknowledge that, <laughs> I should have ought to have took a picture when this thing was running. I'll tell you, it was so noisy, I couldn't adjust, like, <laughs> I tried to adjust the carbs, eh? But I thought it was a valve train that was noisy, and <laughs> believe me, there's a chain <laughs> that drives a cam, eh? And uh, I looked, and it was a bit more job than I wanted to do. So I said, it's running, don't fix it. Uh, it, it don't fix it, it's running. <laughs> so I was gonna wait <laughs> on the valve train and uh, there was a guy at the cottage, the guy used to have a, a Bombardier uh, dealership used to fix skidoos and he said that's not your valves. So that's your your clutch, your drive clutch that needs uh, attention. I said, you think so? And he says, I know. <laughs> so he knew, eh? So that's two years ago. So I, uh, I listened with a, yeah, the old mechanic trick. I'll cheap away, you got a chunk of wood there. And you listen, eh? And I put it on the, there's a casing over this, it's plastic casing, I put it in there, my god, you should have heard the rattle coming out of this, well, came out of the case, but it was coming from there, so I said, ah, it's my clutch, eh, <laughs> yes, it was my clutch, see, you, you can bring it in like this, eh, some, but some clutches, you need a special tool to press it, but not this one, this one, uh, it's uh, it's not as pokey as some other clutches. I just want to make sure that it's closing right here. Yes, it is. Look at that, folks. Hey, look at that. Boom. Hey, <laughs> can't have better than that. Well, I'll tighten this. Before the lock sets, because it does set. <laughs> See, it's all torque. 
Hey, we used to rebuild them. <laughs> when I was young there, we used to rebuild the <laughs> 50, some 54, 55, 59 engines, some eight cylinders, some six cylinders, more or less Fords. We used to pull just one piston, okay? We'd pull the pan, or sometimes just raise the motor, pull the pan from underneath, and do one piston. <laughs> we'd pull it out the top, one piston, and we'd steal a piston from another engine stick it in there, yeah. hand torque the bolts on the head, <laughs> hand torque the, the, no new bearings, no nothing. Eh? <laughs> it was just, a lot of them lasted. It was incredible. I guess those engines were, wow, well, there was no RPM to those engines. Eh? It's not like the engines today, they run like a top. Eh? Those days, uh, if you got four, four, 4,500 RPM out of an engine, we were doing good. <laughs> hey, <coughs> story time with Gator. Tell you what, I had the, was a 58 Ford. It was a, the lights in front were like, it, like that, <laughs> a double light in front. Anyway, and I had that in the yard. It was my father's yard and uh, at home. I was living at home then. Was a, I think I was an apprentice electrician then, uh, first or second year. I wasn't making much money, but this Ford, eight, like, I had another car. I think I had bought, <laughs> that's another story. I bought a Camaro, my father signed for me. I bought a brand new Camaro and uh, I think once I did the payments there, all I had was five bucks a week for gas. <laughs> Try to tell that to a young guy these days. Eh? <laughs> but anyways, neither here nor there. So I had the Camaro, a uh, 67 Camaro. And uh, so uh, I didn't need this Ford. And it wasn't worth nothing. Eh? So I was going to scrap it, but before I scrapped it, I wanted to blow the engine. Eh? So I started up. And it ran good. <laughs> was nothing wrong with it. Started it up. I put some bricks, eh, on the feeder, <laughs> running full board, an hour and a half before the smoke started coming out of it. <laughs> and it blew. <laughs> ah, we were young then, eh? <laughs> okay, did enough. There, folks, this is it. See that? And it's tight. Before there, my God, you could wiggle it. See, before I change the sleeve there, just like that, you could take it and you had to wobble this. I wish I would have. I would have showed you all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be scuffing the surfaces again with Scotch Brite, and then I'm gonna wipe them down because uh, I got graphite. I got all sorts of stuff on my hands. Eh? It's, it's not good for the surfaces where the belts. But that's it. The clutch is done. It's working. The weights are working good inside. They're tight. This is going to be... And I got to... I don't know. I, I, I'm going to post this video. But I'm going to make one. It may be just a shorty. When I install it on the mule. And when I start it. But I don't know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna gonna come down the Sunday, okay? Sunday it's supposed to snow up there at the camp. I, I'm telling you how it's gonna come down. It's supposed to snow at the camp, and uh, I gotta sh shut the camp, eh? That's what's on the schedule. I gotta bring the mule in, but before I bring the mule in, I want to install this uh, clutch on it. Put the belt back on. I'm not gonna put the cover back on this because I want to see it operating, eh? Because the driven, that's the other end of this clutch. This is the drive, and then there's the driven end. That's brand new from last year. I bought a new that had fallen apart. <laughs> so I bought a brand new one of those. And this was still working, but I never really looked at it, at driving it, you know, like uh anyways. Uh 
so it's all gonna be new except this is a rebuilt not brand new and uh, so I'm gonna put it together and hopefully start I have to have my solenoid my solenoid coming from I think China or Japan it's not here yet so if I don't have my solenoid I can't start this because there's a I looked on the circuitry the electric circuitry on the mule I can't just short the two starter wires that the the power and the starter wire there's a circuit inside the solenoid that brings power to another part and uh, there's a resistor I'd have to match the resistor and, uh, I don't know I don't know why I took that see that's what happens when you I don't know if I said that the last time jump the gun eh like uh, start start uh, rebuilding things don't fix something that's working and sometimes you have to analyze and I didn't take the time to analyze I just jumped the gun and uh, I'm sorry now <laughs> I gotta wait for the part and I muffed it up I really muffed it up but anyways hopefully I'm gonna show you installing this on the mule uh, we may end up I'll be filming next spring to show you how it runs like it closing and opening as I rev up the engine and then after that I'll put the plastic case but I'll make a movie of that it won't be this year it'll be in the spring but that's all I can give you <laughs> okay I salute you all <coughs> comments are welcome I don't answer no generic stuff hey <laughs> we uh hey I'll put my face in here yeah here okay no generic stuff I try to answer comment sometimes uh, I'm uh, more active than others active things to do eh? like right now uh, I'm starting to fix uh, well I put my grass mowing machine away there and I'm starting to look at the snow blower there and uh, uh, I don't know I may have to change the fuel pump there it's a vacuum driven fuel pump but uh, I don't know if I have it. It doesn't seem to be pumping too good. So I may end up and want to maybe do something with this little baby here. <laughs> this is just a... I don't know where that comes from. It's a little DC motor, eh? And uh, I don't know. I'll see what I can do about this. See if I can uh, use it for uh, turning my chute. I may have to go to a, a window uh, regulator <laughs> uh, motor or a windshield wiper motor. That's another one. That's some things, the motors that I have somewhere inside here. <laughs> okay, anyway, slapped enough to, to I salute you all. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>